guys, welcome back to another video. I feel so good and rejuvenated and refreshed. I just came back from my birthday trip in Palm Springs. I turned 21. It was so fun to finally get my drinks, be legal, and have all this fun stuff. So I'm going to show you guys everything I got myself for my birthday that is more magical, spiritual, witchy, and everything along the lines of magic, as well as the things my friends got me too. And there's also some things that are crystals that I haven't showed you guys too when I got them for Christmas. So I'm going to show some of that along the lines of my birthday stuff that I got that's all magical and witchy so let's get into the video I got so many candles I'll just start off with one candle I got from Yankee Candle on the 17th of June it's gonna be the um, holiday with Shakyamuni Buddha's um, something significant I forget the name of it if it's Sakadawa or whatever it's called but I'm gonna offer this to him on his special Buddha day get all those good karmas good merits so this one is a chocolate um, chocolate layer cake candle from Yankee Candle and all their candles guys it smells so good in the store I wish some of the people were a little bit more friendly but they do have a sage candle so if you guys want those good cleansing vibes definitely get yourself a sage candle but you do get what you pay for Yankee Candle scents are so good so anyways I got a bunch of candles from other stores too forgot to bring them up but I got some frankincense guys some frankincense and myrrh and myrrh um what do you call these instant resins so I got a bunch of these so I can go ahead and burn those little free crystal I got a cute little amethyst and then I got this as a gift for my mom I've always wanted an abalone shell guys but I kind of don't really need one with the gift that I picked out but my friend bought me so I picked out an abalone shell for my mom I don't know if you guys can see it I know she's been wanting one, so I saw one, and I'm like, let me just go ahead and get that for her as a little gift. I picked one that had, like, the most flashes and stuff, so I'll definitely be getting me one in the future, but I don't need one yet. So if you guys saw I got instant resins, there's a reason. Oh, I also got these um, charcoal discs. I've been wanting the charcoal discs so I could just burn my incense in peace, not have the, like, um, incense sticks stuff fly all over the ground. So I got a bunch of charcoal discs, um, some frankincense and more incense cones. And the reason why I got the charcoal disc is because I picked out my first cauldron in this lifetime, guys. I wanted the Triple Moon Goddess cauldron on Etsy, but haven't got a chance to get one. So when you're in the Crystal Witchy store, what do you do when you see a cauldron? You go ahead and buy yourself one. So I was going to buy this, but my friend got it for me. So thank you for treating me to this. Definitely have special meaning because it's magical, spiritual, and... My friend got it for me, so you could put your um, charcoal disc, if you guys don't know. It's charcoal that you could burn in the home, and then you put your instant resin on there. After the charcoal's um, lit with the flame, then you can go ahead and let everything burn, cleanse through your home, and just all the fun magical vibes with this. So I was so happy to finally get my first witchy cauldron, guys. Should I show more crystals or what? I guess since we're on a little cleansing kick, I'll show you guys that I got California White Sage Incense. They smell really sweet. So I got a bunch of cleansing stuff to go ahead and cleanse my crystals, take care of them. It's fun to collect crystals, but you guys always need to take care of your little babies. So I also got this Pablo Santo and Copal Incense. I was asking Goddess Nix to help guide me get everything that I need, so I went ahead and followed my intuition and picked up what I needed thanks to her help. I got myself this Shungite bracelet because I felt like my um, spiritual team really wants me to tune into the energy of Shungite. Totally need to um, suck up all that negative energy so I went ahead and got this Shungite bracelet. I was going to get the bigger millimeter one but I was just drawn to that. And it was funny, this one crystal shop I really wanted to go to just ended up having such bad vibes that before I even knew there was negative energy in there and an evil entity, I was just picking cleansing stuff the whole time, not even drooling over the crystals. So long story short, vanquished the entity, went ahead and got what I needed, but it was all um, cleansing stuff in that store. It's so funny. And anyways, I got this amethyst ring. I'll probably have to do a close-up for you guys. It's sterling silver and adjustable. Also for my mom, because I know amethyst is one of her favorite stones. So went ahead and wanted to get her some treats too. So got that. And I wasn't planning on getting this the last day of my trip, guys. I went back to the crystal store so I could have more time to browse. I went ahead and got this beautiful agate slime slice. I feel very like angelic energy in this one. It's so peaceful and it's totally washed out. So I'm going to have to do close-ups for you guys. But it's just like as big as my head. I love it so much. And it's just got like clear quartz, calcite, rings in there. Um, 
light agate color and it just felt very cool angelic energy on here and I was thinking it would be really awesome to put like my jewelry on here to charge everyone's like use selenite to charge your jewelry but you can do that but you can also use other crystals to charge them too set your intention ask the clear course just to suck up all the negativity and bring some angelic light in and put some selenite around it maybe so many fun things I could do with this crystal, guys. I hope you're enjoying the close-up shots because that piece is awesome. That was like my statement piece that I treated myself to for my birthday. So I got that and so many other crystals. What should we start off with next? Oh, this wand. I love it so much. My friend got this for me and I just love it. It's this big clear quartz point and then the clear quartz ball at the bottom. And it's wrapped around with um, copper. So it's got like the cleansing energy already in it. But then the hardware is silver right here and then just copper and I love how that's the silver aspect so it's so cool could do my magical symbols and all that fun stuff so I was really happy thank you so much for getting me my gift I love that so much okay so on with the crystals guys it's funny whenever I do these videos it's like going all out because there's so much to show you there's this um bracelet kind of like the one I showed you last time that has like all these like different blue energy stones I got labradorite and peridot in this bracelet so it's got all the cool magical vibes in this being a little bit more bougie. So I'll definitely have a close-up shot of that for you. And I got this adventuring crystal my friend got me and this piece of orthoceris. That's like a little orthoceris wand. So love those pieces. Can't wait to work with all these guys and spend some time with them. A little Shiva Lingam stone. And this one's nice because it's more like I can work with it. The big one that I got last time I showed you is just too huge. It's fun for your altar, but this is nice just to work with the energy when you move around. And then my friend got me a charcoal stone that's in the shape of a heart, so I'm laying all those charcoals. And I picked this up at a crystal shop the first day that we went at the one I got a better um, bite from in the store. I sense like a Terabuddha energy. It's this red calcite. And I have a card about it somewhere, and I love the meaning of what it says, and it's very fitting, so... This is nice because it's also got the color of kind of Palm Springs, the heat, so I got drawn to get this piece. Totally want to just pick it on my own, so gonna work with this one. And what else is in here? Ooh, this one is a piece of moonstone, but I think it's black moonstone with some peach moonstone and there's some flashes in there. So I really love my moonstone. Don't have this kind yet, so I can't work to work. Ugh. I can't wait to work with the energy of this piece, guys. It's so magical. I love it. It's got all those good vibes in it. So I got that one. And then what else did my friend get me in here? Ooh, this one are major heart healers. So pink amethyst. Definitely gonna use this to help heal my heart charka. And then this one's a newer stone. I forget what she said, but to pair them both together with my moldavite, it's gonna be really good to help heal my heart. So I really love these heart healing crystals. I can't wait to work with them. And then she also got me a piece of moldavite too. So combined with all those three, it's going to be really awesome heart healing. And she also got me this big bag of black kyanite. So, so much kyanite. Self-cleansing crystal with a bunch of watermelon and rainbow tourmaline. So, there's all the good vibes in here, guys. I can't wait to use these for grids and just scatter them throughout my home. So, all the good protection, enhancing my wards, my grids of my space. Gotta be well protected. So, got that. And then this piece of tiger's iron, I just love it. Tiger's eye is one of my birthstones, but not one of my favorites. So it's really nice to come back to it and work with it too, because it's very grounding. This is a nice big polished piece that reminds me. Camera stopped recording, guys, but anyways, long story short, it's my birthstone. I love it. I come back to it sometimes. Good grounding stone. And then she also got me this um, tiger's eye um, pendant. So this one will be nice to work with the energy, like I said. Gotta love my birthstone. And this one is a really cool crystal because it's like an anhydro crystal. I'll have a close up, but there's like water inside of it. So it's really neat. It gives me that like swamp, um, Shrek, dinosaur energy. So it's neat to work with the different elements, earth and different time periods. And I got myself this around Christmas time. I forget if I hauled it, but it's a clear quartz heart crystal. And it also says the word Wi-Fi in it. You know what? I think I've hauled this before, but got that crystal too and she also got me this blue kyanite so I was really happy to get this because I've been wanting blue kyanite specifically titanium kyanite that's blue but also this one so I was really happy to get this piece love it so much like Archangel Michael stone 
And then my other friend got me this pyramid. It's a pyrite pyramid, so it's really nice. It's giving me those Egyptian vibes. I love it so much. It looks all gold, fool's gold stone. People used to think it was gold. And I treated myself to this ring. It's a Moldavite ring, guys. Definitely gotta show a close-up shot, but it'll match my Moldavite necklace and the Moldavite bracelets that I got. So I had to get a fancy Moldavite ring. This was a free gift because I was 21 at the crystal shop. I didn't get the best energy from at all, but it was nice that they gave me a free little gift. So I got some rosemary incense. And then my other friend got me a Super 7 stone, so it's nice to have more Super 7. All the kick butt stones enhance that energy. And I got, or I made these, I bought these beads before guys, but I DIY'd stuff. I made my friends and myself a friendship anklet with a little evil eye on it that's amethyst to help with our safe travels and the drunkenness when you drink and stuff to keep you balanced. And I made amethyst bracelets. One has a skull with some charms that my friend got me, so amethyst. And then I made a big amethyst mala too, with like an angel wing, and then a tricretra on top. So I brought all my amethyst with me on the trip to help me be sober and all that good stuff. And I made this for an outfit that I ended up not wearing on my trip, but it's like a moonstone bracelet I made with tiger's eye with a skull, and then one with like lava stone, moonstone, hematite, and tiger's eye. Very grounding energy stones, so I went ahead and made myself these bracelets. And then I bought a bunch of beads to make product, potions, um, dream pillows, and all the magical goodies coming to my spiritual store soon, guys. So go ahead and check it out down below. It's Mystic Priestess. I bought a bunch of tiger's eye beads. And then I got some of these um, citrine stones and a bunch of amethyst beads and stones too. So as you can kind of tell in here, I have so many crystals that I bought to go ahead and use to enhance the magic of my products for you and have all those good vibes coming soon. So I believe that's all that stuff. And I guess we can move into this one. So this place was called Sinfully, Sinfulicious. And this store was really funny because we just went in there to get my one friend some gifts for her kids and ended up spending a bunch of time in there. They use like essential oils and natural products, so I got a good deal on everything. This is a body care, um, body wash, and this one is, I forget, I think this eucalyptus, bergamot, and tea tree oil, so it's got my angel's, um, essence in there, their scent. So what I like about this product and stuff, guys, is that it's got the energy and natural, um, what do you call it, ingredients. So it's got essential oils. They basically did all the work instead of me having to make it without the magic blessings and crystals and all that. So I can charge these, offer them on my altar later, which is great. So I cheated and treated myself to these. So this is, I think, like a sunflower oil after you use the scrub. It's not a sugar scrub or salt, I forget what it's called, but it, um, you use the scrub on your body and then you put the oil. Your hand feels like a god, a goddess. It's so soft, it's crazy, so hopefully that'll help out with my acne, my crusty hands from work, and some spots around my body that are a little crusty. So I got this big um, tub of their scrub and it's neat because the color and everything they made in front of you. Go ahead and check out my birthday vlog to see more. So it's got bergamot eucalyptus and tea tree oil in there and then I got that scent in a little cologne bottle too so I can go ahead and always have that scent on me that's all nice and refreshing so I got it in those four things and like I said it's gonna be neat to magically bless them because it's just got muggle made time to add a little magic to it and I think the last bag I got guys is in this one I got some Nanga Champa incense a blue lighter <laughs> matching my blue robe to go ahead and burn everything. Some pink Himalayan sea salt, some good cleansing vibes. Looks like there's some sandalwood incense that I already started using in there. And of course, we can't do one of these hauls without a big sage bundle. Mm, this will look really nice in that abalone shell, guys. It's all that same vibe color, all the blues. So, got a big sage smudge stick. And what's in here? Oh, I got this from the mall. It's the Elder Wand in Harry Potter, and it's a necklace. Don't know if you guys could see it, but yeah, it's silver. Love that. And then I also got this rainbow tourmaline bracelet for my work, and it's so funny because my friend ended up giving me this crystal, so I didn't even need to buy the bracelet. But I went ahead and had to treat myself to that to help with some heart healing. And 
What's in here? Oh, more gifts that my other friend got me. So these little crescent moons. This one I made into a necklace. It's like a little agate crystal moon. Would go great with my agate plate. And this is a little like ametrine um, crescent moon. Little obsidian cat. This one's really cute. It's like my little cat Maleficent. A little um, obsidian heart. Reminds me of like a shadow glass. And... I got some green crystals from Athena a while ago and I got a free gift from her. So I got this piece, I think it's Kalamba Jasper. And some other green crystals I totally don't remember the name of. <laughs> I kept the little info cards though. So this green crystal, this one over here, and then this one as well. And I got a Pablo Santos stick. I believe it's the last thing that I got for this haul video, guys. I think I showed you everything. I got more candles and a lot of other stuff, but everything kind of got spread around. So long story short, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a fun 21st birthday. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on those post notifications down below, and let me know if you like these kind of videos. I also got this um, tanzanite ring that my friend got me, so thank you so much. I've been wanting a piece of tanzanite for so long. I've been feeling guided to get one, so I was really happy to get that, and it kind of matches all the blue vibes too. All the blue energy. So by earth, by air, by fire, by water, by spirit, in the name of Goddess Nix, may you guys be blessed and rejuvenated, so mote it be.